Hi guys, assalamu alaikum. I hope you all are doing well. Merhaba. If this is your first time watching my video, my buddies are also saying merhaba and assalamu alaikum. They get really excited at points when I don't want them to be. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe. I share different types of vlogs, traveling in Scotland, home stuff cleaning, cooking and tablescapes as well. Um, I have three kids and I live in Scotland. Anyway, so today is Saturday. It's Eid for many people in England, so Eid Mubarak. And it will be our Eid tomorrow. We're celebrating it tomorrow, which is Sunday. And then on Monday, we're going for a road trip. I am so excited, but we have to prepare for it. So I am busy preparing for it now, as well as tidying up the house. And luckily we're not having that many visitors. I don't know whether it's lucky or not, but um, we're going to have our Eid dinner tomorrow. And then we're going to head out on Monday morning. So I'm looking at all the things I have to pack. Ignore the mess of the right because things are a bit messy. I'm trying to clean up But honestly, I've been at it since morning and it's been a mission So as I said, we are going on a road trip. I have three kids and a hubby and um, so When you go up north the, There's going to be less and less shops around and we don't really want to be shopping looking for food So we're taking everything with us. We have a small gas stove as well that we're taking with us a portable one and These are things that we've got a balance of healthy and unhealthy snacks and food Let's take a look These are the things I've got so far. There's few, still a few things. I'm going to take out the pantry so the idea is to take dried pasta and I'll just make some pasta. This is a ready-made pasta sauce, so I'll just mix that in. And we'll have that apples and oranges and watermelon as snacks, as well as lots of nuts and things. We do have a few drinks as treats. And we've got Coke purely because of caffeine. Got some protein um, bars as a breakfast alternative. And in here, we've got lots of pot noodles, different types of noodles, flavorings um, that we'll be eating. Um, I do, yes, I do have tuna fish as well. On my previous log, I would have shown you how I made tuna sandwiches on the go. I'm making mix up the mixed vegetable curry today. Heat the pan with some oil and add some cumin seeds and in your chopped onions, saute them. And I'm going to quickly add garlic and ginger paste, about a half tablespoon each, and then add in the spices, which is red chili, cumin, coriander seed, and a bit of turmeric as well, and some salt. Just give it a bit of stir, then add in the tomato tin. I used about about a third of a tomato tin not a lot give it a quick fry and then add in the chopped carrots um, and the potatoes I'm using baked potatoes because that's the only potatoes I've got today I'm going to add the skin on with of the potatoes add some water cover it and let it cook I had to actually at this point hop um go out to do some errands and I popped into Lidl and I bought these flowers look how gorgeous they are I'm going to use them for Eid for my Eid table and that's it I'm so glad the weather has finally finally turned beautiful that means that we can sit in the garden and of course since we can sit in the garden I'm going to set the table up we're going to have eat breakfast here, eat dinner, and then tonight's dinner as well, outside. Oh, I can't wait. I'm just so glad to soak up some sun, finally, in Scotland. And this um, table has been sitting for a while, and we're just going to so clean it up. Anyway, back to finishing off the curry. I'm going to add broccoli, peas, and mushroom to this as well, and let it cook slowly.
I've added in the sweet corn. I've added in some tomato paste that was lying around in the fridge so I've added in about a tablespoon of that mixing it a little bit more to cook quickly with the sweet corn and the broccoli. I'm going to add in about a teaspoon of jarred masala and a teaspoon of garam masala and two tablespoons of yogurt and mix that thoroughly and cook it for another 5-10 minutes until it all separates, the oil separates and I've added in kolonji which is some nigella seeds and some soft which is fennel seeds as well, just a, just a few pinches, that's all you need and some red chilli pepper flakes as well. I'm going to throw in the green chilli because I totally forgot to do that earlier on and squeeze in some lemon juice. You can add a knob of butter, which I did as well, just to help it a little bit. And that's it. And that's the garam masala that I added in right at the end.